Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a kiwi crate and I'm so excited for this. I love this time of month when all the crates start coming. So I'm excited to open this one and see what this month has in store for us. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do different unboxings like we're doing today, to do curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this box. Okay, so this month it says it's a marble timer. Build a timer using marbles, then use it to time a dip dye art project. So that sounds like it's gonna be fun and something my five-year-old will definitely make a mess of because he's just like that. He's a crazy little child. Not that most five-year-olds wouldn't make a mess, but he is an extra special five-year-old. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. And then it has a little picture and the instructions right here of kind of what it's gonna look like. So that looks pretty cool. And then our instructions through here that will show us all the things we need to do. Then we have our little booklet that kind of gives us extra information on what's going on. This says tinkering with time. So it seems like that's gonna be kind of the focus this month. Every month there's a certain focus, so time. So it'll have some different experiments in here. Usually it has a food. Yep, that you can make at the back some sort of snack or something. So this is a fun booklet to look through. And then we have cups and another one and another one. So there's three of them, so that's fun. And then we have the liquid coloring. So this is probably gonna be used for that art project they're gonna do. And then some wood pieces that this one has a moon on it. So I'm not really sure what those are for. And then all of our like nuts and bolts and little clips is in this baggie. And these are our marbles. They're pretty heavy, <laughs> a bunch of black marbles right here. So those are always a lot of fun. <laughs> and then we have this foam piece. We could put it on our head. Just kidding. <laughs> and then I don't know, this is just brown string. I don't know if it's like elastic or something, but that looks exciting. And then some more wooden pieces right here. And this piece, it's pretty good foam. This is like pretty hefty stuff. So I think this is the back of our marble shoot thing. <laughs> so that's what's in this box. So I'm excited to let my five-year-old at it. He is always just so excited to do these crates. <laughs> so we're gonna get at it and we will let you know how it goes. this channel. <laughs> so Manti just finished doing his kiwi crate and it was a lot of fun and it was actually a fairly quick craft besides the drying time for the paint. But other than that, it was pretty quick. So he's gonna show you his book, which he likes to mark with all his fingers. So we're gonna do that first so that he can use his fingers later to show you his crafts. Okay, so what do we have here? So, oh, there's a game in here. Was there something else you're gonna show or is that it? <laughs> just the game. <laughs> Oh, and so this whole section, this crate, I guess, is on time. And so it shows in here another device you could make to measure time. So this is a water clock. So I thought that would be a fun little craft you could do. And then it also in here gives you a little food thing you could do that's talking about time. So it's avocado toast, but you can cook one of the pieces of toast not as long as the other, and you can look at the difference on the bread. So I thought that was another cool like visual way to illustrate it. And then something else I thought was cool before we show you the crafts was that it goes kind of through time, back in time to tell you about time. <laughs> and so you could make the, a whole history lesson out of this and just talk about different ways to tell time throughout history. So 
I thought all those things would be really cool. So we're gonna hold this up and it's try not to drop all the marbles. It's oh, a time thing. This is a time thing, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is a lot of fun, and he was able to do most of it by himself. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, see, they all fell down. <laughs> He's gonna go collect them. So anyways, he was able to do most of this by himself, and the kids have had a lot of fun playing with it since he finished it. And this little thing at the bottom, it stays if it's sitting on the table. It's to catch the marbles when they come all the way down. So I thought that was clever so yeah. they don't roll everywhere. And there's a marble. If you didn't know what one looked like, there is one. So do you want to put one on? Just put one and show them, <laughs> show them how it goes. And so it might not work because of the angle of it right here. Oh, there we go. It works really well, so you'll be able to see how well it works when I'm not holding it here because that makes it unbalanced and stuff. So I thought that was a really fun activity. And then you want to hold these up? Try to get it. Try to get it. Try to get what? The queer. Oh, try to get it. <laughs> I guess he's my salesperson. Okay, so these are the other things that he made. And at first I was like, how does this relate to time? So they have you use the marble thing, I don't even know what this is called, this little marble timer to tell you how long to dip these. So you start the marble timer, his siblings helped him out because it's kind of hard to start it and dip these at the same time. And then you dip them and when the marbles are all done, because there's seven of them, once they all go down the chute, then you're done dipping them and you can take them out. You can always dip them longer, it's fine if you want them darker or something like that. So these are all the different ones he made. So he was able to dip the star, the star comes out and then when you're all finished, it has a little sticky you put here so it will stay in. So that's why he was able to dip that one separate. And then, Wonderful. yeah, he has these ones that are kind of like tie-dye. So that was a fun extra craft. They say you could use them as like keychains if you want, like put them on a keychain or find another craft, maybe use them as ornaments of some sort. I'm not really sure, but this they're is a little a fun. Piece. Yes, there's an extra piece. So that's something I forgot to mention here. <laughs> We're all over the place right now is that it comes with an extra piece like this. And so you can take this board and change it up so they can experiment with it. So it kind of shows here, all the pieces can come off and they can try different ways and be like, wait, that doesn't work. The marbles don't all go down or, you know, set them up a different way and then it works. So there's a lot of different ways they can experiment with it and to see what paths work and what ones don't. So I thought this was really fun. Sorry, the marbles are really loud. But I thought this was really fun and we had a really good time. Do you want to come tell him what your favorite part was? He's back. Okay, what was your favorite part? This. Making the marbles or playing with it? Playing with it. Playing with it. They have really liked playing with it. All the kids have. And what do you think was the hardest part? Uh, setting the timer with this. Setting the timer. So trying to set the timer and dip them at the same time. That's why we had someone help, huh? Yes, Mazer, Mazer helped. <laughs> so we had a fun time doing this crate and I'm really excited to see what next month brings. So if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next month. Bye bye.